in any case, it's fair to say the quarry was a godsend. Those rocks, all polished to a mirror sheen. Largest ones, you know as cores. A single core could keep the lights on in an entire city district. Smaller ones, we call them shards. Shard's got a fraction of core's power, enough to fuel a voyage to the motherland. Well, now the quarry's all dried up. These rocks are much too young to be of use. Remember how I said rattle tails ain't the worst thing in the quarry? That honor goes to a beast we took to Colin, Sir Lunky. Massive things stomp many of our boys. We just couldn't get rid of him. The only thing harder than the rocks in Burstone Glory is Sir Lucky's head. His big fat rump's plenty tough too. But so is a kid. Stubborn old Lunky to leave the quarry alone. Then the kid hears a voice calling from down the hall. Are you alright? It says. I've come to warn you, 
he says. The bastion is under siege. Kid hears him, but he ain't about to be deterred. If that's the way it is, he says, then I won't stop you. Because my countrymen will. Say what you will about Zolf, but he's a man of his word. Let me go. His countrymen don't much care for pleasantries, though. Too bad for that. Zolf showed him the way here, and here they came to take revenge. They got inside the bastion and shut the door. Kids gotta go in through the back. I should have told them sooner about all this. To make matters worse, seems the Ura took the girl. Unfortunately, they broke in, and they started digging their holes. Something wrong sprung out of those holes, and it's eaten away at this place. We tried to stop them, but we needed help. Somehow, some way, he sends those who are packing. Problem is, it didn't matter. Zolf's plan worked. We find each other as the dust settles. Then I tell him why the Ura came. To get us back. For the calamity. It was Ceylandia's master plan to wipe the Ura out. But part of that plan backfired, didn't it? If only Zolf knew the whole story.